In this video, I'm gonna review the peekaboo boxing footwork that I've covered in other videos and then add additional footwork that you can add to your boxing game. Now let's begin. This first section is gonna be a quick review of your peekaboo boxing footwork. Starting with, I call it stepping, okay? So going forward, I'm gonna step, step, okay? Whichever direction of travel, you, the foot that's closest to that direction moves first. So going forward, step, 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 step. Going backwards, step, step. Forward. Now, if I want to speed things up, I almost turn it into a shuffle. So going backwards first, I double it up and make it quicker. Keeping my hands up and my chins down. You can see where I have more of a peekaboo squared off stance. I'm not bladed up. Okay, I'm here. So backwards, forward. Now go side to side, go lateral. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start over here, go this side, I can step, step. Go back the other way. Okay, if I wanna speed it up. Taking tiny steps, minimizing my balance issues with my stance, okay? Couple of things I don't wanna do is I don't wanna cross my feet. Okay, I wanna step, step. Keep my boxing stance. Step, step. So that's forward, backwards, and side to side. The next thing we're gonna work on is, I call it driving. So it's the same as going forward, I'm gonna step, step, but I'm gonna push off that rear foot and almost put a hop into it. You can go backwards now. Okay, you can push off and go fast to the side. Okay, this is good if you wanna gain distance on your opponent or cut off the ring. So one more time, forward. This is called the forward drive or just the drive. Okay, so now in similar fashion, we're gonna do the leg spring. All right, we're gonna to spring to the side because one of the concepts of peekaboo, once you get closer to your opponent, you wanna to get to the side where you can hit him and he can't hit you. So we're gonna to go to the right hand side. There, right there. And then from here, I turn and I'll fire. Okay, going back to my stance. I'm gonna spring to the side. Okay, two variations of this is I go off to this side, this foot's pointing out, and then I rotate and pivot and fire my right hand shot. Another variation you can do is you can spring to the side and hop right into your stance where your hips are facing your opponent. So that's the right hand side. Now we're gonna to go to the left hand side. Here where I can rotate into my punch. Again, I can spring and then turn my hips where I'm hips are already facing and I can throw my punches, okay? So that's the leg spring. The next one is the twist, everybody's favorite, the twist. Okay, starting in that neutral, I'll start from my boxing stance. I'm gonna twist to this side. Usually I get my head off to one side or the other. The twist is used when you're in close to your opponent. Okay, if I go head this way, twist to the side. Okay, step back to my stance. Now I'm gonna go to this side. Head off to the side, twist to my stance, okay? The twist can take you almost parallel with your opponent, or you can do more to the side here where you're setting up that uppercut to the head. Now, for my left-handers, I'm gonna review all of them again in the southpaw stance, so stepping. Remember, this, there's nothing different. Everything's the same when you're southpaw or orthodox. It doesn't change, all right? So I'm in my southpaw stance, Going forward, going backwards. Okay, if I wanna speed it up. Okay, lateral, I'm gonna step here, go side to side. Okay, if I wanna speed it up, I can speed it up. Now we're gonna add that drive. Okay, from here I'm gonna push off that rear foot and drive in, push off and drive in. If I wanna go back, I can. To the side, push off, and make it more explosive, okay? Now the leg spring. Since I'm in a southpaw stance, I'm gonna step through with my left leg. I'm gonna spring to the side and then rotate, or spring into the side into my where my hips are squared off to my opponent. If I wanna to go to the lead hand side, I'm gonna to spring to the side where I rotate, or 
I can spring to the side in my boxing stance. That is a quick review of the fundamental footwork of peekaboo boxing. Now let's do an additional review of some other pieces of footwork you may use when boxing, sparring, fighting, peekaboo boxing. Okay, so the first one is gonna be skipping or what I call it the boxer bounce. That's when you're on the outside, staying relaxed and you're going from the balls of your feet back and forth. Okay, you might be out here, you know, working your jab, moving your head movement, get a little bounce in your feet. This is called the skipping or the boxer bounce. Now, if I'm southpaw, same thing. I'm here, forward and back, forward and back, okay? The boxer bounce. The next thing I'm gonna do is review is the L step. When you're on the outside moving around and you just step back, step over, step in, okay? So you're gonna step back, step over, step in. Same thing in the southpaw stance. Okay, step back, step over, step in. Almost used as like a reset when you're on the outside boxing. You kind of reset, change the rhythm up, okay? So the boxer bounce or the skip, well, skipping and the L step is something I use when I'm on the outside, okay? I'm just on the outside boxing. Remember, peekaboo, you can box on the outside or on the inside. You gotta be able to do both, okay? You, you're not just gonna run after your opponent. You could walk into some heavy punches going in. Now let's move on to some new pieces of footwork. New pieces of footwork we're going to add to our peekaboo boxing game is called it's pivoting or pivots. So when I'm in my boxing stance, I always pivot on that lead foot. So if I'm orthodox, right-handed, here I'm just going to smother, I'm staying low. I'm not standing upright, standing low. I'm just going to pivot, okay, and then pivot back, okay. I'm going to pivot and pivot back. I'm pivoting on that lead foot. Now I can go the other hand, other side. I can pivot and pivot back. One more time, pivot and pivot back, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is a step pivot. So now I wanna create more space to my opponent. So I'm gonna step out and then pivot, and then pivot back, okay? Again, I'm gonna step out and pivot and pivot back. Okay, so now we got the pivots, got the step pivot. Now we're gonna add the slip pivot. So when I'm here, I'm gonna slip like that right hand's coming and then I can pivot and pivot back. I can go to the other side. Slip like the jab, pivot and pivot back. Again, slip and pivot. Slip and pivot back. Okay, switching to southpaw. Fill in my southpaw stance. Okay, starting with the, the standard pivot. I'm gonna pivot and pivot back. Pivot and pivot home. Okay, I can do that outside step pivot. I can step out, pivot, and bring it back. Step out, pivot, and then bring it home. Okay, now I can add the slip pivot. I can slip, pivot, pivot back, and go to the other side. Slip, pivot, and pivot back. Okay, now I'm gonna cover the drop slip. Okay, the drop slip. So the drop slip is basically a step, a slip, and you're gonna crouch down a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna be in my stance, I'm gonna step out and in, and slip, and I'm gonna crouch down, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my stance, step, drop slip. You can see what this is used for. It can be used to av avoid a punch coming in, in counter punch, but I'm really looking to fire you out of it with the left hook, the uppercut, or the body hook. It can be a jab too, number seven, all right? So I'm gonna, Drop slip, step back. Now I can go to the other side. I'm gonna step in, drop my head to the other side. Okay, back and back. Now let's do both sides. So I'm gonna step, drop in and back. Step, drop in and back. Then you can start punching out of it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. Maybe I step in, drop, fire the number two. Now let's look at it with a southpaw stance. So I'm in my, my peekaboo southpaw stance. I'm gonna step in, drop flip, and then see I can come up with that hook. Step in, drop to the other side. Okay, again here and here. I just don't wanna step in with my head up because I can walk into punches. I wanna be elusive and keep my head offline. So I'm gonna step in here and I can come out of it with the hook or I step in and drop here and come out with it number two. 
Now let's try to put everything together using all your pieces of footwork while shadow boxing. What I like to do is, if you're not inside a ring where you can kind of control the middle of the ring, I put something down as a target to represent my opponent. It can be a focus mitt, a boxing glove. Right here, I got a punch shield down in the middle. And what you want to do is visualize when you're working your shadow boxing and your footwork and your head movement that this is your opponent and it gives you a point of reference to go around. So when I'm on my motor, I'm, right, I'm lined up with my opponent. I can sidestep, do the side steps. I can go in, step in, step back. I can use a sidestep and circle around my opponent. Okay? I can start adding the leg springs. All right? Leg springs. See, so my opponent's right here. I got to get to the side. So I can spring to the side of my opponent, fire my combination, and then move my head. I can go to the other side, spring to the side, fire my combination, and then move my head and go back to the middle. I can skip or bounce on the outside. All right? Do that L step. Start working the jab, moving my head. <laughs> okay? It's a lot better when you have a target and a point of reference to be able to do your footwork. I can add my pivots. Okay? Maybe I, I step in and then pivot and pivot back. Step back. Okay? Maybe I step in, pivot, fire my shots, and then pivot back. So again, on this side, step in. Okay? I'm going to pivot, fire my shots and then step back to the middle. All right, I can do that step pivot. I might throw a combination, move my head, step to the side and pivot. All right, and then step back to the middle and go home. Maybe work on this side, step and pivot. Okay, step and pivot. Okay, so I can do start doing combinations now. I might drive, 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 spring to the side, pivot, fire a combination, pivot back home, spring to the other side, and throw a combination, all right? Or I might drive my way in, okay? Twist to the side, fire my combination, step, pivot, back to the outside. So that is a good example and a good drill you can use when practicing your footwork and your shadow boxing. Make it sure when you start punching, you're gonna move your head after your last punch.